Hi folks, so what we have here is an example of a performance running analysis where this is an individual we've been working with who's had various running injuries over the years potentially related to running. So what we want to do is take a look at the running mechanics to see if there could be something in the mechanics either creating the injury or potentially putting them at risk for further injury. So here we have a quick 20 second clip that we'll just run through. Um, so the first thing we want to look at with this individual is our heel strikes. We're going to slow down the video a little bit here and we want to find out where that foot contacts the ground. So if we look right about here, we make contact with the ground, let's say right about there. The first thing we want to look at is where that foot is in relation to the hip and our center of gravity. So we want our forefoot hitting right under our body during running. Um, you can see in this example, you know, our forefoot's hitting probably a little bit in front of where we want that line to be. What that tells us is when this individual hits the ground, he's having to use his hip to pull himself forward um, in order to, to bring his body back to that center of gravity, resulting in increased workload by the hip and the knee. Um, so that's something we want to change, maybe get that forefoot striking so it's more under under the foot, or I should say under the hip. Um, so let's clear this out of there. The next thing we could take a look at is the knee angle. So we want to see if he's landing with his knee straight and kind of jabbing into the ground, or if he's landing with a nice flex knee where he's got some good cushioning under there. So we can start at the hip here and bring our angle down this way. So you know, he's got roughly about 125 degrees, 126 degrees of knee flexion, which is great because that knee and that quad are going to act as a shock absorber for us. And it's going to take a lot of that ground impact force um, and disperse it both through the ankle, the knee, and the hip. So that's actually a pretty good form there. Um, so nice job. If we run this through a little bit further... You know, we're looking at stride. The other thing we can take a look at is if we're heel striking or not. So when we hit the ground, what part of our foot are we hitting with first? A lot of us, especially newer runners, will tend to hit with our heel first. And that's a, it's a big no-no. It's basically like putting the brakes on with every step. And all that force then gets, if we hit with our heel, all that force then gets put right through, right through the hip, creates back problems and a slew of other problems. Um, this individual actually doesn't, does a pretty good job of managing to land towards the forefoot. So when we look, you know, kind of his, his landing point is right around that midfoot, which is pretty much where you want to be midfoot to even maybe a little bit forefoot, and then allowing that heel to touch the ground as you go through here. So pretty good mechanics from that standpoint. The other thing we take a look at is arm swing. So whenever we deal with arm swing, we want to have basically like what we say, uh, chest to hips. So if we make those two points our contact points, this one here might be a little high. Let's change that one. Put it down here a little bit. Let's see where the hands end up during that arm swing. So here, pretty good. Kind of finish right at that spot there. Let's see where it ends up when we come forward. Again, pretty good. You know, maybe that X is a little bit higher, but that's not something we would need to tinker with too much. That looks really good. Um, one thing that we were able to identify here that's, you know, not uncommon amongst runners is this line of full center of gravity. So here's our, our center of gravity in perfect posture. When we're on the ground in our stance phase, we're going to see the ankle sit right here. We're going to see the hips sit right here, shoulders sit right here, and then the ear right here. Now what we're seeing in this individual is shoulders in line, hips in line, ankles probably a little bit forward and heads a little bit forward. So that's going to really change the efficiency of his running and also could be an indicator that there could be some, some neck or mid-back issues going on um, that's forcing him to change his stride. So we'd have to correct that spot as well. Um, so we'll clear those out. We'll kind of let this run through, speed it up a little bit. But what you can see here is just from a brief 20-second video, um, we can gain a lot of information. The other thing we looked at was cadence. We basically counted how many times his 
left foot hit the ground over a 20 second period, came up with 180 steps um, per minute. This is something you can do on your own, basically just count how many steps you take with one foot over one minute, multiply that number by two, and that should be between 180 and 190. If you're below that number with your cadence, it's a good indicator you could be overstriding, maybe too much heel strike, um, putting excessive load on your, your knees and hips that's unnecessary. So a lot of our analysis really starts from the ground up, but gives us some good information of how we can kind of fine tune our treatment to keep you running healthy for a long period of time.